Hi, welcome to Outer City Limits, the webcomic made from user suggested suggestions. Today's episode, Swole Sandwich. Uh, first comment up here from Dog saying, Two olive, open face sandwich, two go. A uh, quick reply from Beaver2 saying, Two face or not to face, that's no relation. Pretty clever, guys, uh, but I don't know what it has to do with anything. Good team up. Great team up, guys. Uh, I love it when uh, commenters team up. Next comment, we got a uh, Cold Fusion with one of his classic riddles. Uh, let's just take a read at it, uh, shall we? A weird machine riding that beautiful bean. Cheap, weird, cheap. It's all obscene. I get the impression she's polystyrene. Okay, that's, uh, that's maybe a little bit too suggestive for this comic. Better luck next time, Cold Fusion. Third and final comment, we got Vince coming in, uh, just bragging about his physique. Pretty typical Vincent Watkins behavior. Always showing off his big muscles, even though uh, he's actually not doing that. He's just describing them. And uh, all right, great comments. Panel one. All right, we're going to have an Outer City Limits fun fact. Uh, in this panel, we've got a vampire guy and a a wolf man. Uh, now, a lot of people might not recognize this muscle-bound, uh, shaggy-haired guy as a wolf man, but inside the Outer City Limits universe, this is canonically what a wolf man looks like. Uh, wolf is, in this case, not actually named after the animal, the wolf, like uh, in a traditional wolf man, but in my special universe, uh, wolf is derived from the uh, Italian word for green slime mold. Here in panel two, uh, I can teach you a valuable artist's lesson. Uh, a lot of people will, uh, you know, when they tell you to practice drawing and how to... Uh, okay, let's just come up with a hypothetical situation where you'd like to learn how to draw. All right, let's start with that. Uh, uh, the, the point is, uh, don't listen to whatever they say. Just freehand everything and it'll just turn out fine. Don't, don't practice, uh, don't follow any rules. Don't learn about perspective or anything. Just just freehand it all. Uh, you'll be fine. Panel three. Not a lot going on in here. Just some uh, standard pictures of people standing around talking like it's normal in a comic. Uh, just a little fun fact. Uh, another patented Outer City Limits fun fact. Uh, vampires uh, don't know what things taste like because they don't have taste buds. Because... Uh, Whenever somebody is turned into a vampire, a lot of people don't know that that's actually preordained, and uh, you can tell who's going to later become a vampire in life based on whether or not they're born with taste buds. Here we've got a panel of uh, Jim, and he's trying to look something up on his phone, but this wolf man does not want that to happen because that's the coward's way of learning. There's only... Oh wait, I just ruined the next panel. On the next panel, he's gonna say that's the coward's way. All right, uh, take a good look. I told you this is what was gonna happen. It happened exactly like I said it would. Oftentimes in video games, which is uh, where I get the majority of my culture and learning, is uh, something that happens is that in order to learn from a textbook or uh, learn from a, a martial arts master or learn from you know, like an online website or something, you have to fight that thing. Uh, personify usually as like a like some kind of uh, bestial being. Defeat it. You suck its knowledge into your mouth and eat it. And then you get like a little hat that signifies that you now know that, and by the end of the game you have thousands of hats, and uh, you have to pick and choose the most powerful hats to wear. This is an exciting panel where a heated debate takes place, and two, uh, let's just go ahead and call them top minds in their field. Uh, the Wolfman, a uh, master of uh, battles and strategy, and Jim, a uh, master of... Uh, knowing an anthropomorphic sandwich with olives on it. Sometimes you just don't know whether or not professional has two F's or two S's. Um, I still don't know because uh, I uh, was trying to Google that to learn it, but 
I uh, lost my battle against uh, the personification of a Google search for the word professional and you know normally I can take it on but it hit me with this double FS attack and it made this sound like it was really painful. Jesus Christ, how many of these panels did I draw? Why did I make this comic so long? I don't want to record all this. Uh, look, I tried to make these guys pose in like an action pose. I've been watching a lot of uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I was hoping maybe I could do something like that, but uh, I don't know if it really turned out all that good. Uh, I give this panel a C minus. Uh, while I was drawing this uh, panel, uh, I crashed the GIMP while I was drawing. I think I was making too many short, fast uh, pen strokes, and it messed it up. And uh, luckily, I was able to... Uh, I was recording while I was doing this, and uh, I just took a screenshot of the video and imported it, and then finished the panel. So that's another good artist tip is uh, always be recording a video of what you're drawing so that you can uh, cut it out and import it into your picture when it crashes. This is another general life tip. Uh, don't ever let anybody tell you what your special attack is based on what they assume about you. Always uh, be true to yourself. If you're a vampire and your special attack is uh, to use a gun, then uh, go for it. Don't feel pressured into using your teeth or some kind of magic or hypnosis or whatever, you know. Just do what's uh, natural for you for your special attack and uh, don't look back. Sometime in your life uh, you're gonna have to uh, deal with the after effects of having killed an anthropomorphic alcoholic sandwich and uh, you know I hope that when that day comes for you that you'll have the dignity and grace that Edmund Vampire and uh, Nameless Wolfman are showing here. One thing that you might notice uh, or may have noticed uh, in the last panel is that I actually forgot what the premise of my own comic strip that I had written like just an hour before was and uh, frequently referenced in the whole hour leading up to that point. Uh, that's not a mistake, that's actually a special gift that I have to uh, forget immediately what I've written or what I'm doing or where I'm going. And uh, also just an author's note, note, uh, licorice actually tastes great. I love it. I love black licorice. I love those little Scotty dogs. I love uh, the Australian licorice. A uh, little known fact about licorice is that it was invented in Australia. And uh, that's actually... Licorice is an Australian word for down under, which is a reference to tasting like poop. Anyway, uh, thanks for uh, watching my video and reading my comic. Uh, please visit uh, OuterCityLimits.com.